What's up YouTube? Welcome back to this channel where I help you to get started in property investment. Now today, we are going to talk about why the younger generations not investing in property. Coming right up after this. Now, when I say younger generation, basically I'm referring to those group, the people that actually born on and after 1995. Now, let me put into perspective. Now, those people that born in the year of 2000, technically, they're no longer young because they are actually 21 years old. They can actually make their own decision. Now, why I make this video is because I noticed that this group of people, they don't really invest in property. Now, I'm trying to think about why they're not investing in property. Now, I found out a few reasons why they're not doing so. Now, this group of people, what I found is that they don't really look into the long-term perspective, but rather short-term. Whichever the things that come first, they will do it. Now, usually they will focus on stocks because stocks is so much easier to them and they don't require the big capital to start with. Got a hundred dollar check from my grandma and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. And when talk about property, it will scare them away because usually we talk about 100,000 the minimum and we need to fork up like 10% upfront, that's 10,000. Now, when we talk about stocks, 10,000 we can buy many counters, okay? So that is a difference that they are actually looking at and compare between stocks and property. And that's the reason also why they prefer stocks. Now, I don't really think they understand the advantages of investing in property because property can actually give them very good yield and cash flow if they find a good property. And of course, property doesn't give an immediate return like stock. Okay, stock can be like 10 to 15% in a day and the next day is going down 10 to 15%. That is the fluctuation that most traders are actually get advantage from. But it doesn't work in property. Property grows over a long period of time. So that is the reason why I think it's not attractive to the younger generation to invest in property. Now, the second reason why the younger generation not investing in property is that they need everything fast. What I mean fast is that they need the very quick and immediate result. Now, this is what I understand and I agree with them as well because a property is not liquid. So when people tend to invest in property, we as an investor, we plan over long term. That's why when we put the money in property, we expect that this money will grow over time and obviously i will share some strategy that investors are doing so that we can invest in literally anything now that is the reason why they tend to invest in financial market because it provides liquidity provides fast cash now the third reason why they don't invest in property is they usually follow trends. Now, whichever the thing that is really hot in the market, they will tend to follow those. And obviously, they also follow their friends and families. They mimic what they are doing. So what is currently hot in the market, you guessed it, is actually cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency is something they prefer to invest. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video about the problems with cryptocurrency, you can click here to watch the video now. Now, the fourth reason why I think they don't invest in property is because they're scared to make a mistake. Now, this is not just specific to the younger generation. It happens to everyone, right? So what is actually happened is that people tend to invest first before they learn. Now, that is the biggest mistake, become an investor. Now, my philosophy is simple. In order to invest, we have to understand what the investment is all about. Now, when we understand, that will eventually eliminate all the fear that we have 
and obviously not making mistake. Now I have previously recorded a podcast about our fear when it comes to investing in anything. Now you can find the podcast in the description below. Now the last reason why Daniel investing in property is because of their lifestyle. Now when I talk about lifestyle is that their expenses, their monthly expenses that they spend on like going to the pubs, going to the cafe, all these things and also spending money on the trendy stuff like iPhone. Now all these things come with a cost. Now when we talk about spending on this thing means they have very limited disposable income. Now with low disposable income will affect their ability to get any financing from the bank to purchase property. Now I haven't included any credit card debts. With that, it makes things even worse. Now which of the things that I just share is actually the general observation from what I see in the younger generation. Obviously not all the people actually spend too much in their lifestyle and not all the people actually only invest in stocks. Now obviously there are small percentage that actually invest in property but I would say that the people that actually spend, the younger generation that spend the money in investing in property, I think that's like quite low. I can safely say that it's relatively low. Now what is a strategy that I personally use so that I can invest in anything? Now the answer is portfolio management. Now portfolio management basically you're using your money, the chunk of money that you have and chop it in the smaller percentage into any investment that you like. Now some of you might say, hey, I only got like 2000, right? How can I possibly invest in property? Now here's the thing. Now the 2000, you can chop it into like um, 50% to 50% right the first 50 percent you invest in stocks and the remaining 50 percent you save it although it's not enough now but it will take time to build up until you have that kind of money and then you start invest in property now that is one of the way that you can actually do it now the second way how you can do it is that you use this money and put it into stock first for a number of years until you get the decent return and then you invest in property. Now, I really suggest for you to manage this properly because never put the whole chunk of money into one category of investment class because that is quite dangerous to do so. You need to make sure that when you invest in anything, you always manage the risk. Now, this is what we refer to as diversification. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Now let me leave you with this. Now regardless if you invest in cryptocurrency, if you invest in stocks or you invest in property or perhaps you put your money in business. Now the ultimate goal is that you are investing as early as possible so that during the long term you will have something in return especially for your retirement. That is the main goal that the reason why we are investing.